Do you know what's in this bill yet? Is that how you can so confidently say that it benefits the wealthy? Well, we know what was in the outline that was put out several weeks ago. And among those items that uh, were mentioned in the outline were eliminating the estate tax, which only benefits people with estates, couples of more than $11 million, uh, eliminating the alternative minimum tax, which in the one year we know about Donald Trump's tax returns would have saved him about $30 million. And we know they want to lower the, up, the highest rate from 39.6 to 35. So all of those things benefit very wealthy individuals. And we, we don't know for sure what they're going to do with state and local tax deductions, but if they do eliminate the, the deductibility of those taxes in my state, a half a million people will lose an average of $9,900 in deductions. So, it, you know, from what we know, it looks like this plan is heavily weighted to the wealthiest Americans. But you're right, the details are not there, and that's one of our biggest complaints is that you can't pass a tax bill that affects every American and every business and corporation and, and do it basically in secret. Uh, there are not going to be any hearings on this bill. It's just going to come out of committee, get marked up, and go to the floor. Yeah, we're hearing from Kevin, the, Kevin Brady now, the House Ways and Means Committee chairman, that November 1st is when it will be introduced and the markup will start November 6th. You know, how much time will you all have in Congress to consider this and, and, and move it along? Well, according to uh, Speaker Ryan, he wants to get it done basically by Thanksgiving in the House. Uh, that's a very short period of time, again, when you're talking about something that affects everybody so, so dramatically and so directly. Uh, you know, there, we're going to get, uh, we're going to hear from all sorts of people back home once the text is out, whether it's when they, if they actually do double the standard deduction, we're going to hear from realtors who will say that if, uh, if you double the standard deduction, even if you keep the, the mortgage interest deduction, you've made that interest deduction less, less relevant. We're going to hear from charitable groups who say the same thing, that if you, even if you keep the charitable deduction, doubling the standard deduction makes that deductibility less relevant. And then you're going to hear from virtually everybody on K Street, who's, who, you know, because there's a, a lobbyist for every line in the tax code. So I, I would doubt that uh, a couple of weeks or three weeks is going to be adequate time to actually uh, vet all of this proposal. So the president has said that it is going to give back $4,000 to middle class families. For families in Kentucky, have you done the math? Do you see how this is po possible for families in your constituency? No, the, the analysis that they're relying on there is that they're basically their faith-based assumption that corporations who save money are then going to uh, automatically give their employees huge raises. And that's not what happens, at least historically it hasn't been what's happened. So, uh, you know, I think most of the estimates are that the, at least again, with what we know, that people making fifty to one hundred fifty thousand dollars might get six or seven hundred dollars a year in benefit, but about forty percent or forty two percent of those uh, in that category with children will actually have their taxes increased. So again, the devil is in the details, and, and we'll we'll be debating this uh, uh, in a very concentrated way, but very aggressively. Congressman, given that your hands are tied, just numbers wise, is there anything that Democrats and those opposed to this can do to slow the process down, at least, if not stop it entirely? Well, you know, I, I don't think there's nothing the Democrats can do in the House. We don't have any procedural uh, possibilities available to us. But I, I think the the public interest in this, whether it's because of lobbyists here in, on K Street or whether it's citizens and activist groups back home, I think they'll slow the process down because it's going to be hard for them. You know, they only got 216 votes. Uh, to pass this budget resolution, and depending on what they do with the state and local tax deduction, and you know possibly with 401ks, uh, there's going to be an awful lot of members who are going to be in a, a tough political spot in voting for something that uh, that affects that many people adversely, potentially. So yeah.